Welcome back everybody. We're here to pull cards for February the 9th. I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign. So if you know your planetary placements, you can get quite a bit of juice out of one little reading like this. If you know your sun sign, you can get at least a little bit of juice. Those really flopped. I think we're going to set those aside and use those. Um, let's see. I want to thank you guys for spending some of your precious time with me and thank you for putting comments and feedback down below this video. Also, thank you for sharing this video with others and liking this video. And of course, thank you to those of you who are ordering private readings and Reiki sessions. It's because of all of you guys' support that I get to do what I love to do for my living. Okay, so these cards that flew out are going to be the first cards that come off the top for us. All right, so Aries, here we go. Messenger of water. This is basically going to be like your knight of water. So this just tells me that you are doing something either to pamper yourself or you are taking some type of romantic action towards somebody else today, one or the other. Okay, next up, Taurus. We do have the world card showing up here, Taurus, and this just means that we are completing some type of cycle. We are reaching some type of goal, some type of target, and now it's time to sort of reset those sites for what's the new goal, what's the new target. Next up, let's look at Geminis. Geminis, you guys have the Strength card. This is awesome. Uh, for some of you, I think you are paying attention to your body, to your health, um, improving your health, maybe even going and doing workouts. Some of you may be um, just having a conscious effort to do things to feel better, to feel healthier in your body. And for others of you, this talks about uh, increasing your self-esteem. So for some of you, helping your body be more healthy may even increase your self-esteem right there. But for others of you, this is um, talking about getting that, that good level of confidence and self-esteem. Not too much, not arrogant, not too little where we have low self-esteem, but just right. Okay, and let's see, who was that for? That was for Geminis. Next up we have Cancer. Cancers, you guys have the three of earth. This just means that you are collaborating with somebody today, working together with somebody on something. Woo, woo. That's always fun. Leo. Five of earth showing up in reverse. For those of you who have Leo placements, five of earth in reverse does mean that the budget is loosening up. Something's happening that is making that budget a little looser than what it was, giving you a little bit of breathing room. Um, and the other thing that could be going on as well would be that you're feeling more a part of some of the social groups or um, interacting more with other people in your life today. Okay, so that was who? That was Leo. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgo, messenger of Earth in reverse. I think that you're doing something that's blowing the budget today, Virgo. You might be doing some impulse spending. You're definitely either spending money that you're not, you know is not in the budget. You're just not quite sure how you're going to replace it, but you're still spending the money anyway. Or you're doing something that is not uh, bringing in the money like you know that you could be or that you should be. Okay? So that's for Virgo. Next up, let's look at Libra. Libra is taking some time apart, taking some time alone to really think things through and sort things out, figure out what is it that makes you tick, what makes it, what makes you happy, sad, trigger, maybe deactivate some triggers, setting new priorities before you come out. So I do see you doing some secluded time today, Libras. Uh, ba -bam -bam, Scorpio's up next. Scorpio, nine of air. We've got something that's stressing us out. Usually when the nine of air shows up, the, whatever is stressing us out is, is um, you know, not actually under our control. Usually we've already done everything we can in this situation to make it go the way we would like it to go. And now we just kind of have to wait and let the chips fall where they may. And so um, not having that control can be very stressful for people who are fixed signs. We like to be in charge of things. We like to be in control. We're natural leaders. And so this is a good time to start thinking about, you know, how can we make peace with those things that we are not in control of and let them be 
whatever they're going to be without um, carrying all this stress around because of it. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Seven of Earth showing up here for Sagittarius. This is very simple. It is payday. Capricorn. Page of Air. This just means that you are getting in some kind of message today. Somebody is giving you some information that brings some truth to a situation that maybe was just kind of missing a piece before. Okay. And then Aquarius. Ooh, ouch, Tower card. Okay, so Aquarius with the Tower card, that just means something that was making you feel very stable, satisfied, secure, um, is no longer. Basically, something that makes you feel that way is suddenly and unexpectedly being removed from your experience. Now, the Tower card is the beginning of a longer story. So when this first happens, it can be a moment where you're just trying to catch your breath and get your feet underneath of you. But what happens in the end is that you actually find something that is more stable, more secure, that is more fitted for you and allows you to grow inside of it to replace whatever it was that you thought was bringing you stability and security. Many times we get into this uh, situation where we feel very stable and secure and we sort of max out that situation. We grow as much as we can in that and then we're afraid to look for something better because that's so stable and secure. And so instead we would rather be restless and bored than growing. Well, spirit doesn't like that. <laughs> spirit does not like mediocre. So uh, spirit will boot you right on out of a situation like that to put you in a position where you have to look for what is going to be the next good thing for you. And that's what we have going on here with this tower is uh, you're just getting the boot because spirit wants you to look for something better than what you already had. And you'll find it. You'll find it. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, you guys have the magician showing up in reverse. I feel like what's going on here is you've got somebody uh, in your sphere of influence today who's a little bit of a con artist. Can be male, can be female, doesn't matter. Don't let the imagery fool you. But this is somebody who is not shooting straight and they have an ulterior motive um, that involves things working out well for themselves without them putting in the energy and effort to make that happen. So if you're going to have to sign any kind of contract or paperwork or get into any kind of agreement, even verbal or otherwise, make sure you've done your due diligence. Make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Make sure you've read all the fine print. Make sure you know exactly what you're getting into because otherwise you could really regret getting into something, especially if it's long term on a day when you've got energy like this floating around you. Okay. So was that Pisces? Yes. All right. So that covers everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm looking forward to working with some of you personally later on for readings and for Reiki sessions. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.